it's like okay, so we're gonna be talking about the midheaven, the tenth house. You know, that house ruled by Capricorn and Saturn that pretty much dictates your public image in a sense where um, it's how people see you online or at work and yeah, and how you achieve things. You know, I'm going to be talking about how each midheaven um, achieves goals, I guess. That's how what I'm exactly going to talk about. Where the drive lands in the midheavens and how they achieve said goals that are long term. Anyways, cue that cringy intro, fam. Um, why am I, um, doing the Midheaven first? Well, I'm gonna tell you why. Basically, um, the Midheaven, like I said, is your public image, your public persona, your public whatever, how you act at work or on the internets. And where are we right now? The internets. The beautiful place called the internet. You don't know what you're gonna find here. You're gonna find some really weird shit. But other than that, you're not seeing my ascendant at the moment. You're seeing my very um, influenced midheaven. So that's what you're seeing for me right now. You're not seeing what I, what face I put on at parties or like the face I put on when I first meet people. You're seeing a totally different face from me. <laughs> and usually um, when you see um, someone's content or hear it or I'm not really sure you know when when you see someone on social media or hear someone on social media you are probably you you are getting their midheaven and usually the midheaven squares the ascendants mine doesn't but usually that's the case so basically I guess I am just going to talk about what you know from the internet and the people from the internet rather than um, what you'd see from these people on the internet at parties. I might do another video explaining how the sun signs would be at parties if you want me to, but we're going to be talking about how the midheavens conquer their goals. So let's move on. Capricorn. Okay, so this is the, the, um, what's it? This is where your midheaven wants to be. Okay. Basically, this is OG Saturn. This is the last cardinal sign. This is the actual ruler of the midheaven. We are here. It's getting its own video. Not totally not because I fucked up. It's totally artistic integrity. You can't, you can't tell me otherwise. Anyways, um... So, this Midheaven is, um, let's see, obviously, you know, ruled by Saturn. This is where the Midheaven wants to be, yeah, but this is not considered one of the best Midheavens. Um, this is where you get success later in life and later through your projects. Um, people who have this Midheaven work hard and dedicate a lot of time to their projects, but they aren't going to get recognition until later. They have to prove themselves through time. Um, you know, Saturn rules time. And, you know, Saturn being it's in, in its, like, you know, designated spot, obviously, time's gonna be a main theme in the Capricorn Midheaven. Um, these people may seem harsh, and that's why I said I'm just an ass at Capricorn Midheaven on my Libra segment. Because, you know, Libra isn't harsh. It is nice. You know, it hasn't gone through Scorpio and Sagittarius. It isn't the dry humor asshat that Capricorn is. And, you know, when that's in the midheaven, this is where, you know, hard work is in play. You know, the Capricorn midheaven wants their projects to be perfect like Virgo in a sense. But, you know, not exactly perfect, just functional. This is really just the um, experiment room 
before Aquarius hits, so... You know, they're just working hard and making sure that things go right. The, these people actually shockingly don't have to be the boss, okay? They need to uh, fulfill something, but being the boss isn't necessarily one of them. You know, they are the CEO of the Midheavens, but as long as they accomplish something that they want to accomplish, they're okay. You know, this doesn't necessarily mean that they want to be a CEO or anything, or a boss. Um, they want to be on top of their game. That's what it means. That's like what that means. They have to be on top. That that sounds really wrong, but you, you get my point. This Midheaven doesn't necessarily, you know, it, it isn't Leo. Okay? It isn't Leo. It's not Aries. You know, they just want to be successful. Okay? They don't want to. They're not really big on fame. They don't know what to do after they accomplish things. Like, you know, speaking of, like, Elizabeth Sharp's videos and a lot from the last video, okay? They, they don't know what to do after anything, basically. You know, they set their, set, they set their sights on one thing, because, you know, this is where the Midheaven wants to be. You know, like I said in Sagittarius' video, this is the step before the Midheaven, so everything's scattered. But since we're where the Midheaven wants to be, nothing's really scattered. They, everything is fallen into place and they know what to do and where to go. And, you know, that's, that's just what happens. And they climb from there. Um, how many years will it take? Who knows? It, all what is really set is that things take time. You know, it isn't Tana Mojo, you get fame and then you get taken down. It's more like people hate you at first and you get recognition later. Um, so yeah, this is not the most nicest midheaven to have. Because th this and Pisces aren't really. But, you know, Pisces is my favorite midheaven, to be honest, because it can be anything. You know, Capricorn can be anything would work, but, you know... These two midheavens are not, don't have that nice, pretty face that, you know, Cancer has, or Taurus, you know, they, when people see them, they're, you know, especially with Capricorn Pisces, they're going to get a very harsh impression at first, and that's just what happens, you know, Capricorn proves, um, may prove that harsh expression over time, saying, hey, this is more of what I'm about, and Pisces, you know, it, same thing, but you know, it's not through work, it's just you kind of figure it out yourself. And, um, let's see, who is a Capricorn Midheaven? Lana Del Rey. Uh, people think she fucked her way to the top. Who knows if she did or not, I'm not telling you that. I, I do love Lana Del Rey. Um, so, yeah, she is a pretty good example. Um, pretty sure Snoop Dogg. And Tally Berry, um, naming all people with the same ascendant sign as me, but you, you get my point. Um, I know when it comes, I don't really know anything when it comes to Snoop Dogg or Halle Berry though. I just know with Lana Del Rey, people think she fucked to the top, and she had three different names before before she had Lana Del Rey, you know, for projects. So obviously she did put work into her music and tried on many personas to, um, you know express herself and the one who landed her fame is you know the daddy kink one the one that fucks everyone the one that isn't really a singer you know the 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 one that does drugs in florida that one okay you know that that persona got her places you know fucking up on saturday night live got her places um you know it's wild because when you first think of lana del rey like your first um you know introduction to her was fucking up on Saturday Night Live in like 2011. But then now you kind of see her as someone who is good live and someone who is just, you know, pretty lit, you know, pretty lit celebrity, okay? From just how that really worked out was wild. I think that's actually a pretty good example of how Capricorn Midheaven works, even though her Midheaven's not supposed to be in Capricorn, it's supposed to be in Aquarius because she's a Taurus rising, but who cares? You know, but 
you know, people think you're going to fuck to the top and do whatever you need to do to get to the top. Um, let's see, when you're a Capricorn Midheaven, uh, let's see, what else? You know, you'll, you'll, you'll fuck up along the way. People see you're gonna fuck up. You may prove yourself later if you choose to. You know, that's really up to you. But usually Capricorn Midheavens just do their best to go after things and if once they do go after those things, you know, they may be in their 30s or 40s. You know, they aren't, like I said, Tana Mojo. I think Tana Mojo might be a Cancer Midheaven if we're really going to talk about where the fuck Tana Mojo might be. But, um, you know, it isn't that burst of fame and they don't know what to do. And I mean, that that's not them. They are a burst of hatred and then they slowly progress to a status they want to get to because they're angry. And when Earth gets angry, they really try to prove people wrong. You know, they aren't going to be like, ah, people said something mean. No, they're going to be like, hey, it's been five years since I said something mean, but I'm here now. Fuck you. And I'm leaving. And that, that's basically Capricorn mid -Evans. Thank you.